Welcome to GC Engineering and Technical Drawing. Today we'll be constructing a doorknob using the principle of tangency. So what we'll do first to we'll draw a horizontal line, indicating it to the center line. And also we'll pick a point of our choice and then we'll draw a vertical center line, indicating it also with a center line. And then we'll call the points of this intersection point zero, which is this. So we'll measure 33 millimeter to my left. So we've succeeded in measuring 63 millimeter. So we'll call the point point zero one, and then we'll draw a second center line. So now from our diagram, this is point zero. And this is point zero one. It's point zero, which is this. This point zero one, which is this. Now from point zero one, so we should measure six millimeter to our right. So we'll measure six millimeter to our right. Then we indicate it to the point six millimeter. Then we indicate it to the point. So from point zero one to this portion here is six millimeter. And I'll call that point point E. Now from my diagram, you can see 25 millimeter given to us that I see distance here, 25 millimeter. So I'm going to measure 12.5 from point 0.01 upward, 12.5 downward. So we'll measure 12.5 millimeter upward, indicate the point, call that point, point A1. We also measure 12.5 downward, quarter point, point A2. So from point A2 to point A1 is given to us as 25 millimeter. So open our compass, place it at point A, more than a half, subscribe an arc, then place a compass pin at point A1, we we'll bisect the arc. Also, using our compass pin at point A1, scribe an arc, place our compass pin to point A, we bisect the arc. Can you see from point A, A1, we bisect the arc. Then we'll join the, the point of the intersection with a straight line. In the point of the intersection with a straight line. Also, from point A, scribe an arc, place a compass pin at point A2, we bisect the arc. Using point A also, scribe an arc downward. Using point A2, we bisect the arc. You can see. And then we'll join the point of the intersection with a straight line. Make sure you get it properly. Now you see that these two lines intersect at the points here, and I'll call that point points R. Now using points R, we extend our compass to point A as radius, then scribe an arc touching point A1 to point A to point A2. Then we succeeded in getting this portion. So open our compass to 38 millimeter as radius. We'll place it at point zero, 
point zero, which is that's eight millimeter radius. So draw a circle. Once it hits a vertical line, stop. Also here as well. Here it is a vertical line. Stop so outline. Now we'll outline this portion here to this point where it hits a vertical line, the line 63 millimeter. So outline that portion. Take your rule and then outline. So we succeeded in getting a circle, which is this portion over here. So the next thing we'll do from point zero to our left, we'll measure 64 millimeter. Then we indicate it to point we've done there. So we indicated it construction line up, then down. Call this point here, which is from zero to our left, call this point zero three. Now, from point zero three, from a diagram here, so we should measure three millimeters to our right. So we'll pick three millimeters to our right, then six millimeters to our right. Then we'll project the construction line upward and downward, up and then down. Now, from our diagram, find out that this is 88 millimeter. So divide it 8 by 2, that will give us 19 millimeter. So measure 19 millimeter from point 0 upward. This is point 19 millimeter. So join this with an outline. We took 19 millimeter up, 19 millimeter down. And then we'll open our radius. So for point zero, we we'll measure radius thirty-eight plus twenty-five. Since these two circles are touching each other externally, one of the principle of tangency when circle touches each other externally, we add so as thirty-eight plus fifty uh, plus twenty-five millimeter. That will give us 63 millimeter. So place our compass at point zero with 63 as radius. Place our compass at 0, 0, 0.0, 63 as radius. Describe an arc. And also open our compass to radius 25 millimeter. Then we'll place 25 millimeter radius as the edge of our box here. They will bisect the arc. Now using the point of their intersection, we're still using radius 25, they will draw arc. You can see it's touching the circumference of the bigger circle and then the edge of a diagram here, which is this. So also Bring it to this point, radius 25 millimeter. Scribe an arc. So we'll take 63 millimeter. Also, when we added 38 millimeter plus 25, give us 3, place it at point 0. We bisect the arc. Then we'll open our radius to radius 25 millimeter. They will place the 25 millimeter radius at the point of the intersection and then we'll draw a circle, semicircle. You can see it's touching the circumference of the bigger circle. Then we'll do well to erase this portion here. 
is supposed to be construction line or you erase it completely then also we would outline outline this portion over here outline this also outline this portion here and there also lastly you can see this portion also here is an outline so outline this portion thank you for watching i still remain gc engineering and technical drawing don't forget to give me a thumbs up and then subscribe to my channel